Let's go one more. Stream marker for the YouTube folks. Decklist below for the Twitch folks. Welcome from Avaris' stream. Welcome, Spider. And for all those that have been watching tonight, thank you for tuning in. We're going to continue on our rampage here with Emrakul, Planebound Accomplice, and Luca Combo here in modern playing eight moons here four blood moons four magus of the moons and plenty of rituals to replace our dear friend simeon spirit guide this is eight moon infected eight moon not for infect the mechanic no simply because spaghetti mom is here hmm. let's play some magic <clears throat> Got a nice salt lamp? That sounds cool. You're not sure if you feel healthier? <laughs> nice ambiance. Maybe I should get one. Put it right here. I don't know. Would you want a salt lamp right beside your computer? That doesn't seem like a good idea. That doesn't. It's gonna corrode my computer. I don't know. Do they give off salt? I know they glow. I'm gonna tell my wife I want a salt lamp now in here. How does a salt lamp taste? Salty. I'm sure you don't wanna lick it though because it has different oils on it. Oh, look at this hand. All right, we're gonna keep this. Turn four Emrakul, let's go. Turn, turn three Magus and they're gonna just be like, I got you, I'm gonna bolt that Magus. Twenty one squirrels. Twenty one squirrels. You're gonna hit me up with that basic island. Go ahead, opponent. You think you're good? Just don't draw another emerald, Fluffy. You can do this. You can do this. No other emerald. Let's go. We play around force of negation. Hallowed fountain tapped. Okay. Uh oh. Extra Luca. I don't need that. I don't need that. All right, I wanna hit one more land here. We're gonna lead with the Magus. One more land, let's go. Still gonna lead with Magus here. They could path this. Snapcaster opting here. So that means Magus hits and we're playing magic. Let's go. Oh. Swamp. Opponent attacks for two, perhaps, perhaps not? No. Land, yes. Cool. Plane bound, hooray! Do they have a counter for this? No, activation. Luca, down tick, on plane bound, spin wheel. Not really. Emrakul. Good luck, opponent. <laughs> That's true. Extra Luca is 10 times better than extra Emrakul. We'll accept that. All right. We have Spaghetti Mom permanently in play, unlike through the breach. That would have been Force of Negation. Are we better? Absolutely. My opponent attacks us for two. I will uh, let that two through. <laughs> Block. Fatal push? Ha! Huh. You gotta be kidding me. Who liked that? I did! We're gonna take out chalices and put in rabble masters, which is a whole bunch of more three drops, and we're gonna send it back. Nope, I'm not gonna do lightning bolts. They look like control, and I don't care about shooting them in the face. Is Luca better than Nahiri? Ah, uh, yes. But you have to remember, I'm doing this on turn four because of plane bound, which gets me around a lot of counter spells. But I believe Luca is better if you want to get Emrakul out. But you have to build the list a very specific way. Oh, uh, you see it? It's a nice soft glow. I can make this even softer. That's the that's the beauty of of 
my uh, lights here. I can dim them even further. Could do both. You could do Luka and Nahiri, and we have built a list that's like that. Luka and Nahiri, you can look it up on YouTube. It's out there somewhere. Somewhere in the internet. Luca keeps us in one color and lets me go. I'm a red prison master. <laughs> Where's bridge? Don't need that. This is my bridge. You could just say Nahiri copper coat. All right, this is a turn two blood moon. It's got to anger the gods, which I probably should have taken out, but I was so excited that I didn't take it out. That could be bolts. Turn two blood moon. I think I want to try this. Keep top deck plane bound top deck Luca. That'd be hilarious. Look at this. We're going to hard cast Emrakul. <laughs> Double polluted Delta here. Definitely making me feel like they have the counter to this blood moon. We'll check it though. Check it at the door. One island, followed by one swamp. And it resolves. What are they playing? Extra island here. Go. Are we really going to just sit here until I hard cast Emrakul? That cannot be the true thing here happening. Hmm. Huh. Huh. Okay. Here, I'm going to play Plane Bound in. It doesn't work without Luca here. They might freak out and counter this. I don't have... I don't have Luca. <laughs> Two mana. Snapcaster opt. All right. Opt scries the card to the top. Maybe it's an island. Nope, a hallowed fountain. We are of the Esper colors, but missing white because I was a jerk. Fatal push is plane bound. Luckily, it's still there. Ops as well. Puts the card on bottom. Now they would be silly to attack. The player land. I'm going to attack them. Why not? Offer up the trade a little bit here. Cool. Oh, we have three mana now. Three three blue. Very dangerous. I'm going to pass here. I want to keep plane bound around here in case I do get a Luka. They eliminate plane bound. We have six mana here. We're getting to the Emrakul. I'm just going to try to hard cast a Bone Crusher Giant here. I really, really, really do not want to necessarily um, give them the option to counter a Stomp. They could counter and bounce Blood Moon. They opt to counter and draw. If they counter bounce here. They get the Flooded Strand and get their basic white. And then they could get another basic black. But they've chosen not to. Rabble Master here. We'll see if this gets through a counter spell. The answer is no. It does attack with its one little tiny goblin. And at this point, I have absolutely no idea what our opponent is doing. None. I'm going to do this post combat. You're all about the Rabble Master? I am too. We're going to even send it in for a Snapcaster to eat it. I'll play my Magus here, pass turn. Maybe my opponent has a Cryptic, Bounce, Blood Moon, Supreme Verdict. I don't really know what's happening here. Opponent uses Opt here at Sorcery Speed. And I think I might just have him here. We're going to go straight to combat. Oh, we'll put that on top, that's fine. They bounce Rabble Master. They had to bounce Rabble Master over Blood Moon. I'm just going to have six here, make it look like I drew something special here. 
I actually don't want to show them I have a second Raminot runes in case they do balance the Blood Moon, which in that case, then I'm pretty happy with just having two ruins that are uncounterable. We get the win. Well, that was interesting. <laughs> 2-0 against our poor control player that um, that maybe didn't deserve that. You want a prison mill esper deck that wins with Kaya. Rest in peace. Lanterns. Kaya. Let's play first. Hmm. Hmm. Top deck of land here, and it's a turn three Emrakul. That could be fun. Yeah, Ashiox would work well with Kaya. I don't know. Do we think we're going to top deck a land here? I don't think I'm going to. I don't feel good about this. Nah, I, I think I think we risked one earlier tonight. I don't I don't think this is a keep. I think we could do better. We don't know what my opponent's doing. We're gonna mulligan this. Look at this hand. This is fantastic. Keep. Get rid of the ritual. That's this is ten times better. Look at this. Thought sees proof. Got double options here. Got the chalice. Ah, uh, Barwick, I did. I did. Oh my gosh, look at this. That's great. I kind of want to put the Magus down. I'm going to put the Magus down. They could bolt, but I think it's safer than the Blood Moon. And then we get to Chalice on one to be super safe going forwards. Resolves, Magus in. Good luck, opponent. You are but three or four colors. Four colors. They are four cool colors. Extra Blood Moon in here. Attack for two past turn. Looking for Luca. Look at all these colors. Play an extra Blood Moon, because why not? Attack for two. Looking for Luca. Wait, was that last turn or this turn? Opponent passes it back. Clean up step. Discarding. And my opponent decides conceding is the correct line. All right, so we have cat combo here, probably. I think this is gonna be an easy chalice out, lightning bolt in, two pithy needle, and probably the anger of the gods out. We could rabble master here as well, if we think we need to be aggressive, instead of maybe bone crushers. So we can maybe do that. Let's do it. They were, they were, pretty, they were pretty mountains, spider. They were pretty mountains. We're going to keep this hand. This is a turn one Rabble Master. Who doesn't like that? Get out of here, plain bound. We're going to curve out to you later. Look at how aggressive this is. Opponent's going to be like, ah, I'm dying. <laughs> here comes the Rabble Master. Hopefully you have a path. And if you have a path, I'm going to top deck Luca and you're going to be sad. No path. Good luck. Where's that Renin Six? Triome in for one. Basic forest. <laughs> Magus looks pretty good here. <laughs> I gotta attack with everything. Wow. Turn one rabble, smack them around here. Play the Magus of the Moon, top deck the Luca, plane bound activate. Boom! Oh, they bounce this back to hand. Why did you put it back into my hand, opponent? Triome here, tapped. Oh, that's what I wanted to get off Luca, but now it's stuck in my hand. How, how rude. In for some damage here. I think I still play the Magus here and just risk, risk the crazy, like, wrath effect here of Anger the Gods. That's cool. They remanded again. 
We'll see if they get me. Second Ramiot Ruins would be uncounterable. But you know, turn one Rabble Master is sweet stuff too. Sweet stuff too. Top few cards were not Luka. But who needs Luka when you have turn one Rabble Master? There we go. Match two in the books. Match three coming up. Playing some spaghetti. Why aren't we running Soul Ring? I don't know. We kind of kind of are <laughs> at this point. How do I feel about some number of Alcott Awakening this deck? Absolutely not. We need to be untapped mana all the way. All the way, Spider. We are putting down a Blood Moon quickly, or we are typically doing Luka and playing Bound quickly. And if we're not doing either of those, we're using Season Pyromancer to dig. Yep, I'm shooting down Spider. And Spider knows. I, I just get straight to the point. We get to play first here. All right, we need more than one land. Definitely need more than one land. Mulligan. Cool. Keep. Magus away, land, go opponent. Turn two, Blood Moon. Turn three, Plane Bound. Turn four, opponent loses the game. Ah, Arbor Elf. Okay. Let's go ahead and still do this ritual. I think I'm gonna do Blood Moon over Magus this turn. I'll do Magus next turn, Luca and land. That's what's going to happen. Oh, are we green devotion? No. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Oh, it is green. All green. Oh, no. Oh, no. Whoa. Whoa. Hmm. I'm going to play Plane Bound over Magus now, because if I top deck uh, Luka, I want to play Luka. Uh, Shatter Skull Smashing could potentially be a thing you do. They attack for four here. We'll take the four. They just pass back. I'm going to play a Magus next, pass the turn. Really need Luka here. This 4-4 four four is going to hurt. Oh. In search of greatness. Put a chalice on one, pass turn. Showing them the chalice here on the off chance that with the chalice, they'll bring in some artifact hate. Maybe we'll get lucky with that. Garuk wild speaker. Upticking here is the smartest thing they can do because that sets them up for next turn overrun. Because it's next turn overrun, math looks like we have to block here. I don't think it's going to matter, though. Yeah. Oh. Shoot this. Take four, five. Yeah. This kills us. They get too far. Plenty of, of green. Those next draws aren't getting us there. Please tooth and nail. They're doing crazy things, that's for sure. That's for sure. All right. For me, Chalice is too slow. I want to be removal. Blood Moon doesn't matter against essentially green devotion. We're taking Blood Moons out. Goblin Rabble Master typically doesn't get through. We have the Angers. What I could do is swap Magus and, Bl and Rabble Master just because it's different three drops. So I'll go ahead and make that change. But we have basically this removal suite and then Pithy Needle to name Garuk. I don't see much else. I know they had an Eternal Witness. I don't feel like the graveyard needs to be attacked. And again, I don't think the Chalice matters here. I don't think I'm going to have to worry about, say, a Bolt. So it's not really an aggro. It's kind of like... Um, I mean, this list does its aggro thing. This is just looking to do Luka and Emrakul. So as I turn two giant draw in two turns, maybe season Pyromancer. Um, 
All right, we'll keep. It's not the worst. Um, you see, it. It's for it's. It's more for dredge than it is to just pick off something in the graveyard. We're gonna kill the opening creature here. Hoping to land. We do hit land. It's great. Kill Arbor Elf. Green Devotion typically doesn't interact with you a lot, which is super nice. They won't mess with our creatures, hopefully. Go ahead and season Pyromancer. We're actually going to get rid of Emrakul plus Rabble Master here. Because Planebound and Luka is, is like a kill. And this looks great here. They know about Emrakul. They're a little scared now. We end up finding Planebound and Luka though. So we should be good next turn. Opponent looks to make three mana here. Windswept Teeth or Troll. That's fine. Nykthos isn't scary here. I could hard cast this. I'm actually gonna go ahead and hard cast it so I get two activations possibly. We'll down tick on Season Pyromancer. This gives us Emrakul. Pass the turn and we should be good from here. We should be good from here. Smile. You're on Emrakul camera. I like this though. This 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 green devotion list. We need to revisit green devotion. We need to put it on the list. And we have any idea why blue red giants is suddenly a thing in modern? Because anything can be a thing, as people are saying. You can play just about whatever you want. We're trying to turn one emerical. Don't let people tell you your your dreams are memes. They're not. My opponent is reviewing what just happened as they were f 6 studying the board state and wondering if they could interact with this in any fashion. The current answer is no. Emrakul is on the board. Couldn't find any, any lists? Ooh, Utopia Sprawl. This is a lot of mana. This is a lot of mana here. Oath of Nyssa. Let's see what they find here. I like this. They're going. They're going places. Genesis Hydra. Yes. Go. Make mana. Go get a Garuk. Go again. This is seven mana. Genesis Hydra for five. Yeah. Spins. Eternal Witness or Oath look good. Burning Tree is not too bad either. And opponent concedes. I may be a little worried about like a Pithy Needle from my opponent. I should probably, and I do have the Abrades in. Magus and Blood Moon are good for Nykthos, but I think I'm killing them before. Send it back. <clears throat> Yeah, it's like a Ponza list, but it, it splashes a little bit of blue, and then it plays a bunch of um, bunch of Inferno Titans. This is interesting. I think we mulligan this because we know we need to find something more aggressive than this. Opponent kept seven. Although the anger is pretty nice. Mulligan, though. Uh, this might just be better. Keep... How all in do I want to go in on this Rabble Master? Eh, let's not go too crazy here. We're not even going to put the Gemstone in. We're going to just take it casual here. They could have a Utopia Sprawl as their first thing, and it would be really awkward to Gemstone Caverns. Yeah, we're good. We're good. Take it easy. Got a removal spell. Got a Braid plus Lightning Bolt too. Three mana. Genesis Hydra for one. Okay. It's an interesting choice. We'll just let that sit there. Let's 
go ahead and braid it now. That kind of boosts their devotion here. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the Gens Hydra, even though it didn't hit anything, because, quite frankly, I don't need them to be getting, like, extra, extra green here. They might want the third green for that troll. Okay, four mana, Garouk. Untap, and now they have the three mana, so Troll can show up now. Oath of Nyssa was choice, though. Okay. Eternal Witness is found. Okay. Gonna rebuy Genesis Hydra, it looks like, with a bunch of devotion. Hmm. Guess we'll play Rabble Master. Send the token at Garouk and pass turn. We're kind of really far behind. So they can play Eternal Witness here and then untap, and they have Devotion Pips. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six on the Hydra with two, so Hydra for four. We are flooding a little bit. I could have played the Scavenger Grounds to prevent the Eternal Witness here. But then I'm not progressing the game state, which I don't like. All right, take care. Have a good one. So there's the Genesis Hydra. We untap here, and now it's more because we have two more, so it's going to be a Hydra for six, I think. Yeah. It was. Eight man off the Nykthos. Genesis Hydra for six. We find Ewit or Karn. Dang. <laughs> it's pretty. It's pretty good. Not to mention that they have a 6-6 six, six Hydra here now, too. Gonna pick Karn. Uh, this isn't good. I just used the Abraid, too. Use the Abraid because the bolt's better against Planeswalkers. Hmm. Almost no reason not to go down and pick something up for them. I think Green Devotion's gonna get us here. This will be the second time Green Devotion's beaten me. They get a walking blist up. Oh, we're so close. I need one turn somehow. And I'm not sure how I'm going to find it. This walking blist is going to be huge. I could bolt Karn here. If one gets through, I can bolt Garouk. If they untap here, they make six and then pips. 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. Land drop 14. 14, so 7, 7. Drops this down now. I guess I have to bolt the Karn here so they don't get another activation. A big walking ballista here, though, just killing Rabble Master is not good for us. Maybe they'll play some other things and we can get a Emra cooldown. Make me like trying to set up for a bigger walking ballista later. Burning Tree Emissary is definitely not in that direction, though. Okay, Devotion here, 10, untap. Okay, Elder Gargaroth. Walking Ballista and one unknown. There's like a small chance that my opponent doesn't kill the Rabble Master for some weird reason. At the same time, I think the next turn just pumping Walking Ballista here and attacking with two six sixes around Emrakul should be enough. Because they can they can attack with the Walking Ballista. I'd have to block the Walking Ballista. Having to block the Walking Ballista, this gets 12 in and then they just shoot me. Although, they're doing stuff more with Karn here. But yeah, I think Green Devotion's got us here. Even though we're up 2-0. There's a God Pharaohs. Plays a God Pharaohs, okay. 
So this causes Luca to be more expensive here. Opponent attacks us for six. God Pharaohs. We have an extra Rabble Master. We can't cast this because it's actually more Rabble Master. Even if we get to play this or attack, we're only gonna have max two defenders. We defend here, here, they pump and kill. Good job, Green Devotion. I've seen this list a few times now. Definitely some interest in potentially playing that in the future. They did well. Did well. Let's keep it rolling. Just like that. Let's go. <laughs> All right. We'll keep this. Turn to Chalice, turn to Magus here. We got Luca already in hand, so that looks great. That looks great too. I'm gonna throw a Chalice on zero. We'll put the Magus down. My opponent has fetched a basic against us. That being said, with Luca, we may just be in a great spot here. I think if they don't play anything too crazy, I would I would be tempted to please, please slow down, opponent. Double explores here, continues with the sanctuary, plays another explorer. <laughs> Are you keeping track of what's happening here? What a turn two. <laughs> Now we have enough for Dryad. We play Dryad, play a land down. Untap, picks up Bouncy Land. All right, we must play Magus of the Moon here. <laughs> Otherwise, some crazy stuff's about to happen. Go ahead, opponent. Bog Growth Chamber, attacks for two, fine by me. I would love, 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 love to find a creature because I don't want to burn the Magus on my Emrakul here. That'll work. Magus down, Scavenger grounds into play. Two Maguses here, pass the turn. Opponent's going to hit us with this Dryad or not. Titan, okay. Here we go. Can a Titan, with all these forests, beat Emrakul? I'm gonna let this hit me. I think this is okay. Land, Luca. Down tick Luca, get Spaghetti Mom. Okay. Spaghetti Mom protects. Is it enough? Are we going to see a second primeval titan? Look at all these things that they have. Scariest thing here is for them to play another dryad. Opponent does go to combat here and attacks Luca. That's fine. I'll be killing primeval titan here. Get some lands that come into play and untap themselves. Definitely a block here. Nice. We'll attack with Emrakul. Nice. Annihilator, six. <laughs> this is looking good. We can uptick with Luca here too. And I can play a Bone Crusher Giant to defend Luca. I think we do that. <laughs> You have to admire the little grazer. Up we go, see what we hit. Bunch of lands. Gonna hit my opponent for two here and replay Bone Crusher Giant. Go ahead, opponent. Can you beat Spaghetti Mom? Not to mention we have eight moons for this amulet player. <laughs> it's gonna be a tough one. It's gonna be a tough one for them. Uh, Anger the Gods are replaced by a Braids. Uh, we replace the three Bone Crusher Giants with Rabble Masters, and we send it back. We send it back. Eight moons 
Luca, and Emrakul, and we got it done against the Primeval Titan. I'm liking this list. I'm I'm. This is this is all we're playing now. Red Prison, nah. Master of the Luca. Let's keep this hand. This is a fairly aggressive hand. Let's make it happen. <laughs> no turn one Rabble Master, but turn two, turn three should be fun. Not to mention that we top deck Plane Bound. If we had a Ritual Effect, we'll just do that instead. Double Amulet for my opponent, though. They're going to have a fairly explosive start here, too. F6 through this turn as they're going to make four mana with their Bounce Land and Bounce the Land. Ending up playing Dryad here, playing down a land. And that is their turn. We're going to go ahead and play a Rabble Master. However, this next turn is very, very much going to be a Titan. Let's go, opponent. That You can block that. Good job. There you go. <laughs> you can block that. Let's see if they have the Titan here. Six mana is available. This is turn three. Looks like it. They're going to attack me too. Looks like we're not going to be fast enough. Oh, interesting. They have white mana they can still play, right? Oh, no, they can make the white mana with the Dryad. There you go. Slayer Stronghold attacks. This is turn three for my opponent. We kept with double Rabble Masters. Doesn't look like it's going to work here with the Valakuts here. Shoots one, then three, six, nine upstairs. That puts me to 11, eight. 9, 10. I technically live with one life here, it looks like. I live with one, but I could make Emrakul. Not going to do it here. They've got the fetch land. I don't know why they didn't just use the fetch land and kill me. Okay. Crazy. Let's go again. <laughs> you got to get that blood moon effect out faster. Faster blood moons, please. <laughs> oh, let's play first. Well, we have two of braids here. This gives me some time to get up there. I will keep, because we do have a blood moon here too. And two of braids can stop some of the crazy hands that they just showed us. Two two chances to draw our third land. Blood moon or rabble master can be played. When it mulligans to six. Mulligans to six. Land go. Hoping we can ki kill a uh, amulet. No amulet to kill, just a castle. There's the amulet. Before they untap here, we'll destroy the amulet. Okay. They don't have any basics really, so that's good for us. They explore, plays the castle back down. Land. Miss the land drop. Pass the turn. All right. We're in a little bit of trouble not hitting that land. Three mana. There's Dryad. The Suva makes a mountain and a bounce land. Really could use land. Got there. All right. Down goes the Blood Moon. Pass the turn. Cool. All right. Everything's a not is not a uh, forest and stuff. This is, no, this is mountain, wait. How do you make green mana? What? Oh, Vesuvia's a basic, yes, okay. All right, following, we're good. We're good. I'm like, what, what's going on here? All right, let's Rabble Master to close the game out quickly. Vesuva is a basic because it's a basic mountain. You're correct. Let's go Rabble Master. Yeah, there's a bunch of layers here because Vesuva is a basic. There's a Dryad. The Blood Moon came on on top of this. 
They get to play an Azusa here. So they're actually clear to potentially make another. Let's do a plane bound here. Actually, let's attack with both goblins. See if I can kill the Dryad. <laughs> they back up. They're like, no. I respect that. All right, plane bound here past turn. Plane bound's gonna put Luca in next turn, as long as we don't draw Emrakul. Looking good. Cool. Plane bound activation. Luca, down tick on plane bound. Get Emrakul. Attack. With probably the team now. Offering up the trade to the Dryad. They block with the Dryad, which is good for us because we'll then abrade it. And once abraded here, they will not have green mana and they will be dead. Blood Moon, probably the bigger winning factor here. There we go. A lot of layers there. Vesuva's a layer, Dryad's a layer, Blood Moon's a layer. That was crazy. 3-1. This is a good night. Let's go. <laughs> we, we've run into Amulet Titan a few times tonight. It is most definitely a great night to be running eight moons. <laughs> and Emrakul has been... Finishing out every time pretty pretty nicely. Pretty nicely. Uh, correct, Grayus. We have always been positive. Always so far. Hmm. Interesting. No 5 O's. But we have a 4-1 and we have a 3-2. And then we have whatever this is going to be. <laughs> Let's play first. The Mad Doll Maker. Turn two, shall we? Keep. Turn one on the play by or on the draw, by the way. We'll start with the gemstones to scare them. Put a tap land in, please, opponent. That's fine. You can have your aether vial. Looks great. Pyretic ritual, pyretic ritual, plane bound. Use plane bounds ability, Luca. Down tick, Emrakul. Good luck, opponent. Good luck. <laughs> nice vial. Is Spider still here? <laughs> All right. What could my opponent do? They could potentially kill this if they have, what is it? Blessed Alliance? Paging the Tax Master? My opponent is shocked. They have no idea what just happened to them. One moment they blink, they hit F6 for the turn, the next, spaghetti. Oblivion Ring can't happen on their turn too. They don't have enough mana and Simeon Spirit Guide's not a card. That was our turn too, and we were on the play. <laughs> they are contemplating anything and everything they could possibly do here. On thin ice. <laughs> oh, they're they're a viewer of the YouTube channel. <laughs> they're a viewer of the YouTube channel. We just bodied them. <laughs> They're gonna be watching this later. Shout outs to the Mad Doll Maker. What's up? So, we're back into taxes here. I think we're gonna do the Abrades and Lightning Bolts again. I wanna take the Chalices out once more, and I took two Pyretic Rituals out before. We actually could take two Blood Moons. You know what, let's do two Blood Moons and just let's body them. Second, second game, turn two. Emrakul again. 
But yeah, on thin ice is a good call. I wasn't thinking of that. That could definitely wreck our day. Oh well. We're trying to do something ridiculous. <laughs> if you're streaming, hello chat and hello me when this hits YouTube. You can fill the chat with hello the mad doll maker because yes, this will probably make it up to YouTube. On that note, I kind of want to keep this, although double Luke is a little, little off. Look, there, Mad Doll, you read the chat. Grayus has said hello, and I, I hope others will. Look at that, Cam Draven. Um, I think I'm going to mulligan this. I think we can do more broken things. Eh, this, this could work. This could work. Hello, future, future me says hello. Look, at, see, Mad Doll? Look at that. Look at that. All right, we're gonna work our way up to this Luka. I'm feeling confident we can do this. There's just an Aether Vial there. We have our lands. We're gonna play Bone Crusher after stomping something here. It's gonna be great. We got this, we got this. We're gonna Luka them. They're not gonna path us. That looks like a great target here. Let's kill that Stone Forge. They get a Batter Skull, go stomp. Turn comes back to us. Magus looks a little more tempting just because it shuts off the white. Aether Vial activation here. That was a really good top deck. Give her runes for that protection. My opponent has beautiful mountains. They're kind of in the dunes and stuff. Very sandy and bloody mountains. Two drop coming down here. Thalia is annoying. It does slow down Luca very briefly here. I'm gonna play Bone Crusher and we're actually just gonna work our way up. Anger the Gods, we end up loopy, losing Magus. They get to keep Thalia and I don't like that. We need Runner Runner land here and we'll probably win. Skyclave is annoying and could ruin us a little bit here. We'll see if that's what they play, maybe on Magus. Nope, it's Archon. Double checking some wording there. Uh. I'm gonna wait here. I'm gonna wait because I want to hold the Luka. If I top deck the land, we'll play the land. But if we don't top deck the land, we'll use Season Pyromancer and see if we can get it in two turns here. Again, very afraid of this Aether Vial on three. Flicker Wisp, Skyclave, a lot of things could potentially happen. We're gonna get one shot here probably with Luka. Top deck is another Season Pyromancer. Easy season pyromancer at this point. This all ETBs, uh, how it ETBs. That's our one spell. We do have a ritual, which isn't good. Lightning bolt though, isn't too bad. Lightning bolt can't be used currently because one spell a turn, not to mention now Thalia is here as well. Ritual's not gonna do it. Double Archon for our opponent. That's good for them. This is looking sketchy if we're gonna do this. Phyrexian Revoker is here. All right, we may have to draw another Anger, kill Giver, and try to kill the Revoker. Opponent's hitting us for four in the air. They got us on lockdown, everyone. Extra Blood Moon. Let's go ahead and attempt here. We could always get another spell for the Phyrexian Revoker. They protect over there. We can always we, we can only do one spell a turn. I guess I could be attacking them. Maybe I should be attacking. Hits for four in the air again. This is a close one. This one's close. Uh-oh. That's not what I want. Um... Let's go ahead and start attacking here. We need to put pressure back on them. I could Desperate Ritual, the Season Pyromancer. Heading for six here is, is definitely worth it. I like the block with Athalia, makes perfect sense here. 
I'm going to ignore... Make it look like the Thalia could come in. And if I can make the Thalia look like it can come in, the Luka's at least cheaper. We're hoping that they attack with Thalia. Then I triple block it. You can do... Oh, wait. No, this doesn't get me an extra mana here. Because of Thalia. I'll just chump block it anyway. I don't want to take six here. Got to find a way to get rid of Revoker. Another stomp would do it. All right. I need an Anger of the Gods to have a shot. Do they have Wisp? I'm going to pass back here. I guess I should have attacked one turn earlier. Kind of putting the pressure on with the Bone Crusher Giant. So they don't flash anything in here. I'm going to give them the turn back. Maybe they get aggressive here and attack with Phyrexian Revoker, thinking that they have us. They won't, though. Let's have some fun here with our opponent. Let's block block like this. Then I'll Bone Crusher over here. I can attack for four and then Luka, but I, I don't think we have enough here. This gets kind of just interesting. Four, five, six, seven, maybe? There's a Leon and Arbiter. Okay. Stomp Revoker away. See if they have a way to save this. They don't. I don't really have an out here, do I? I'll attack with the Bone Crusher. I could. Yeah, the Archons fly. We don't have a way to prevent this, really. The Archon's flying kills us here. Oh, we're going to do something. Oh, I like it. Path. I'm going to go ahead and concede. Not show the Luka, not show anything. We would spin the elemental, but at most it would hit a Season Pyromancer. In this case, it would hit a Magus. So they got us. We got to We got I want them to know that Leon and Arbiter. We kind of were double checking on Luca and remember that it, it was okay. So I want that to potentially be a thing that we have as a, as an out. I'm trying to remember if I brought in Pithy Needles for the Aether Vial. I think I might have previously. And we took out some of these rituals because the rituals aren't very good against Thalia. With that, let's go ahead and submit, see where we can do this. We got to take down the Mad Doll Maker. Let's do it. Let's play first. No red lands. We can't do that. We're not on the draw, so these do not get lucky counters on them. We're going to mulligan. I'm going to keep. I'm going to get rid of the Emrakul. We're going to see what happens. Turn two, Magus isn't too bad here. And then we can use Bone Crusher as a defending thing. We're going to just ritual this out, put the Magus down, pass the turn. Super simple. 
Extra planes here. There's a Thalia. I'm not even going to give them a chance to defend this. We're just going to go ahead and stomp it now and hit him for two. We know what we need now. <laughs> Is it worth taking one of each ritual out over two of a single for the sake of named card effects? I doubt they have a named card effect we care about. A Leon and Arbiter. And Paths. It's pretty nifty. One, two, three. Pass the turn. I think this bolt I can do after the fact here. Archon's actually kind of tempting to kill here. Let's do that. That Archon was annoying last time. And now we have enough to potentially do Luka if I draw it. So let's just bash in here. If another Archon shows up, it's bad. But we have the backup Anger at this point. And it's definitely going to be a backup Anger. But yeah, I don't think I'm too worried about named cards. Besides, do you want the uh, the, the Desperate Rituals? Because they get Splice on Arcane. There's a Revoker. This is okay, since we have the Anger. We now have another Bone Crusher Giant. This is looking really good for us. I think we play both of these down, right? I'm actually gonna hold. Oriok Champion could be a really bad card for us. We can Anger the Gods everything, and actually do Bone Crusher Giant as well. And I doubt they want to really block with any of this. Yeah, they just attack back here. And we're hitting them for potentially four. Path. And now I feel like pretty safe to just anger instead now. Which feels pretty good, especially if they play another creature here. Perfect. Perfect, look at this. Bad. <laughs> Four, we anger the gods here. I'm gonna play my new land down. This way I can bone crusher giant stomp something. We're almost there. New revoker. I might actually just send the two damage upstairs. Only because if I were to shoot this and they path it, I don't get the Bone Crusher here. So I'd rather this go upstairs than I just play Bone Crusher Giant. And they'll have to do take two to path this, which is really good for us. Plus, it's a nice big threat against the Phyrexian Revoker. It's looking good. We'll see what they got. Wins. Does target. They take two. Get a land. They can attack me for two. Looks like we're gonna get a double plane bound accomplice here. Those do those these do get through. Okay. We got a revoker here stopping Luca. But we also have lethal on board. Might can trip a sunbake canyon here. This is a close one. Does can trip a Sunbay Canyon? And we get there. Very close game with the Mad Doll <laughs> Maker. That leads us with a 4 1 again with the list tonight. That's pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. We'll give them the GGs. They were a good opponent. Good, good opponent. 4 1. 4-1, two four ones, and a 3-2 tonight with Luca. And there is the Mad Doll Maker. GG's. <laughs> you can see some of the hellos. They're up in the top of the chat there on the screen. That was a close one. That's a good night, everyone. Doing this Luca, the plane bound stuff here. Getting plenty of Blood Moons. It was a great night for Blood Moons. The fact that we're running eight of them worked really well against every Titan matchup that we ran into. 
This is almost identical to the one previous where we had Simeon Spirit Guide. In this case, we've added three pyretic rituals here in replacement of the Simeon Spirit Guide. And we actually added one Bone Crusher Giant. And in most cases, I was pretty happy actually to have the Bone Crusher Giant. So probably some pretty decent moves. Chalice was good. Some of the difficult matchups were like Prowess and Burn, and that's just because they can go just a touch faster. And if we don't see too much in the graveyard department, we might just play some Dragon's Claws, honestly, to combat some of what they're doing, or maybe an extra Anger or two on the sideboard versus these Lightning Bolts. Though the Lightning Bolts were pretty nice as well, as they did interact with our opponents. Heh. <laughs> It was fun to run into you. It's always good to see a fan. Glad you reached out. I try to keep the chat open in case someone does reach out, and I'm glad you're enjoying the content as well. And for those that aren't familiar, we do put quite a bit of content up there on YouTube in case you don't catch all of our streams and you're just kind of curious the things we're playing. This will probably make it up there. We did do three leagues tonight, so you'll probably be seeing this one one, two, three in a row. They were good, though. I thought we did pretty decently.